Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be comparing team versus company managed projects, focusing on story points. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel as that does help the channel grow and we are in a tremendous growth. So if you haven't subscribed, you're watching this video, click that button as it is completely free to you and it does help the channel grow tremendously. Also, on the same note, make sure you like this video if you get value and if you have any questions, comments or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Finally, I do have paid courses, link in the description. Make sure you sign up. I have three different classes, three different schedules. So get all the details in the description below. Let's jump into today's video. All right, so we are gonna be comparing a company managed story point field versus a team managed story point field. And now these behave very differently. First of all, we are actually working with two different fields. In a company managed project, we have a story point. In a team managed project, we have a story point estimate. Those are not the same fields and I can even show it to you, I can prove it to you. So if I go back into Jira, I'm gonna go to my issues over here and I'm gonna go to custom fields. When I click and type in the word story, you will see that I do indeed get two different fields, one for the story point estimate and one for story points. So when we're back inside of our company managed project, let me show you how the story point field behaves. Okay, so when you are planning your sprint, you are essentially going to be going to every story and you will see that you have an icon here and you have the ability to fill out the bubble, which represents the story point. If your board settings are configured to represent story points, you could, as a total sidebar, change it. You can make it so it's based on original estimate or some other variable. But for the most part, you're going to want to use story points because that's the industry standard. So how do we get a number into that little bubble? Well, for every story that you're planning into your sprint, you click in it. And then on the right hand side, you will look for the field story points. Once you've identified that field, you will then click into the value box and then change the value. Easy, right? This is really how you use Jira. There's nothing new about this. And for everybody, it should pretty much be a review. Unless you've never used story points, then ta-da, this is how you add story points. But in a company managed project, you have to go through each one individually and you have to find the field. And sometimes finding that story point field could be hidden. It could be under more fields. And so depending on your configuration, you might not be able to find your story points. Additionally, out of the box, story points as a field only applies to epics and stories. So if you're working for with tasks or bugs, you're not even gonna find the field at all. So it can be very confusing for new people to use the story point field, but everybody should be using them. Now I do have other videos that kind of show you how to make sure story points are available and how to actually use story points. So make sure you check those out as well. Now let's go take a look at a team managed project and see how they do it over there. So inside of a team managed project, when you're in the backlog view, you're actually able to inline edit the story points here. So as you can see, I can come here as I hover, right? I'm not even clicking on anything. I'm just simply hovering over a story and I will see that there's a bubble. Now I could click into it and I could come down and find the story point estimate field. Remember we talked about that they're different or even simpler. I can just simply hover and click here on this bubble and put my number in there. Atlassian, why is this not a thing in the company managed projects? This is such a time saver. You're talking about milliseconds over seconds. And in the grand scheme of things, if you consider the thousands and thousands and thousands of stories that I've estimated over my career, saving a fraction of a second is a significant cost saver. Why is this not something that everybody can do? This unfortunately only works in team managed projects. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I absolutely abhor. I do not recommend team managed projects at all. But Atlassian, if you're listening, let's bring this feature over to company managed projects because it is such a cool little gimmick, but it's really, really interesting and I love it. I love that you simply just hover and then you just put in the number. It's in line, it's quick, it's dirty, it's fast. But now, can we do it on a bug? And so in the bugs, no customizations. I've never modified this project at all. You can see that I can also put story points in the bugs. Yet another Atlassian, why is this 
a thing that I have to configure in a company managed project. Why is it that out of the box, I have to enable the story points on other issue types? This shouldn't have to be the case. This team managed project makes it so much simpler, but I wish we had the simplicity with the power of a company managed project. I think that would be so much better and so much easier to use. But anyways, that's the difference with respect to story points. If you found this video valuable, please make sure that you drop a like. And if you made it this far and you're still not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, before you leave and go to the next video, make sure you check out the description down below so you can get the details on my paid trainings. These trainings are designed for you in mind and they will make you experts in their specific topics in only 12 hours. So make sure you check out the description, get a hold of me, contact me, DM me, whatever you, whatever you gotta do to get a hold of me and I would be more than happy to answer your questions about those paid courses. Make sure you like and follow and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.